There's a post that was trending on LinkedIn, um, Professor Che, at LBS. He posted something to show that there are a lot of Lebanese and Chinese and Indians coming into Africa. And then Africans are crossing the sea to die. What's wrong with us? Okay. Wow. Wow. See me, um, I can't talk because <laughs> it's as if he just hollowed out my mind. Mm. See, if you if you check all the comments I make, I, I don't comment in so many on so many posts. I, and I don't write a lot of posts myself. But this issue you just highlighted are the ones I'm most interested in. Because, see, young people say, oh, they don't want the second colonization. Mm -hmm. And I say this, if we don't want the second colonization, then we need to make sure we understand how the world works. See, I see a lot of Africans, young Africans, everything is external. It's somebody else's fault. This, that, that. And when you ask them simple questions, they don't know much about what they are talking about. You see, we we focus on fear mongering. See, all the things that, that has happened to Africa has happened to Africa. All the things that are still happening to Africa are happening to Africa. But for me, those things irrespective of how, how, how they happened, how they are happening, if we do our own part, it, would, it doesn't matter. Anybody, see, there will never, never be a time where Africa, there are no external forces trying to take something from Africa. From Africa. There, is, there will never be a time. There will never be a time. So if we, we, we are waiting for the West to stop stealing from Africa, we'll wait for the next uh, million, million years. Because I, I, as we say, the West has been stealing from Africa for, for centuries now. Well, the truth of the matter is this. We have things that other people want. Okay. Either we make it in a way to package it ourselves and tell them, okay, come and buy. If we don't educate ourselves to be able to do these things ourselves, if we don't educate ourselves to invite the kind of people we want to come and help us, mm -hmm. they will come. And why we close our eyes, complain about everything, and they will steal those things. Yeah. See, yeah. we complain a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, maybe in, in before before we got our independence. Okay. Yeah. We should, should complain to 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 so that our, our corona masters can, can leave us alone. Okay, now I'm not talking about uh, the the uh, former French colonies because France itself was still there. Okay, I'm happy that they're trying to drive France out, but for us, for us who were colonized by Britain, okay, now Britain left us mostly left us but then how fast how much development have we made have we created not a lot okay so because 
all of us, either French uh, former colonists or the the former British colonists, all of us are complaining, complaining, complaining. Mm. And mm. so we all start educating ourselves. Now, there's something we can we need to say about that. Part of the reasons why the education hasn't gone the way it should be is because in my in, in my mind, some of our leaders decide have decided not to educate their people mm. for whatever reason. Mm. So we have that that challenge. Okay, but then, uh, like you say, we need to take it seriously. Because mm. until we educate ourselves, we, con we, we will continue struggling. Mm. True, very true. Yeah. You know? Um, you're very right. And 